Welcome to JR World Travel. And today we have another special. If you've noticed, I've been trying to give you some ideas about how to travel right here at home so you don't have to go overseas or go out of the country. Uh, we've done tr some trains locally. We've also done resorts. And today we have the river boat. And with river boat travel, uh, we've got quite a few rivers right here in our own country that we can uh, uh, get a little bit of the history and, and find out some things about our own country that, that perhaps uh, we just didn't know. And trust me, I've been on the Mississippi River and I thought I knew it pretty well, but I learned a few things along the way. So we'll go and get uh, see if we can get started uh, and have, have a great day. Now, thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Susan Schultz Gelino, Vice President of Trade Relations. I'm Brett Bullock, Director of Guest Experience. At American Cruise Lines, our top priority is the safety of our guests, crew, and the communities that we visit. So we would like to share with you our safety protocols and operating procedures that we have implemented on board all of our river boats to give each and every guest and their travel professional comfort during these unprecedented times. All guests must complete a medical questionnaire before traveling to the ship, which may include a COVID test. Once guests arrive to the ship, but before boarding, the ship's medical officer will meet with each guest personally and conduct a brief medical screening. After successful completion, guests may board the ship through our new touch-free check-in and boarding process. Anyone who is unable to pass all of these required steps will be denied boarding. So we ask that you please not travel if you feel ill in any way. Instead, utilize our Cruise with Comfort program, which is designed to provide guests with travel flexibility. Our enhanced onboard sanitation procedures require crew members to wear personal protective equipment throughout your cruise and receive specialized training in the use of this PPE. Hand sanitizing stations have been placed throughout the ship and our housekeeping team will clean and sanitize public areas hourly with chemicals that meet or exceed EPA guidelines. Guests will be provided and may be asked to wear PPE when being seated for meals, while on board motor coaches, or in other ways similar to those currently required by land-based establishments. And did you know that each stateroom and lounge has its own independent heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system? That means there is zero shared ductwork between staterooms or lounges for increased safety. Guest capacity on board the ship has been reduced by at least 25%, which will allow each guest around 450 square feet of personal space. This is the largest amount of personal space of any cruise line. All meals will be cooked to order and can be enjoyed by the ship's dining salon, where tables have been reduced and reconfigured to allow for social distancing. Additionally, every table will be used only once for each meal service and, of course, will be sanitized before and after every meal. Outdoor dining and in-stateroom dining are also available. A medical officer who is a certified RN or EMT will be on board every ship, every cruise. Onboard COVID-19 testing is available and isolation rooms have been created on all ships should they become necessary. Guests will travel directly to and from each shore excursion venue in our private cruise coaches, and each motor coach will be thoroughly sanitized before and between every coach boarding. Additionally, motor coach capacity will be reduced by 50% to allow for proper social distancing. Our goal is to make American Cruise Lines your home away from home, creating a safe and comfortable experience for everyone on board as well as ashore. Guests with travel concerns may utilize our flexible Cruise with Comfort program at any time, up to 24 hours before the start of their cruise. To review our operating protocols and sanitation practices in their entirety, please visit AmericanCruiseLines.com. From all of us at American Cruise Lines, we look forward to safely welcoming you aboard soon. But I would like to welcome uh, Cindy Kristen, a business development manager at American Cruise Lines. Uh, hi, Cindy. Hi, how are you? Good. We were just chatting about Zoom yeah. and everything else. And um, Kelly and I actually were on the American Cruise Line on the American Harmony on the Mississippi uh, in December. 
and we had a fabulous, wonderful cruise. So um, I, I'm going to share some of my experiences, but I want you to kind of take it away and tell us about what's going on now with American Cruise Lines. Okay. You ready for me to start right now? I think you can start. We're, we're already past the hour, and um, I was fooling around trying to figure this webinar thing out, but I, I think we've got it. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, it's Thursday afternoon, and thank you so much for being here. My name is Cindy Kristen. I am with American Cruise Lines. We're the largest USA river cruise operator with 13 ships in our fleet. And just a little background about our company. We're about 30 years old. We are privately owned by one family, the Robertson family. They're based out of Guilford, Connecticut. And uh, we actually have our own shipyard where we build all of these ships and that's located in Salisbury, Maryland. And um, so we have complete control over the introduction of all of our ships. And I'm gonna introduce you to those all today. But we have a great product for you for, to allow you to stay right here close to home. We have so many wonderful itineraries for you to see and explore. So many great places to see in our country. And uh, we can take you to a lot of these places on board our beautiful ships. So I wanna thank Michael for uh, hosting me today and inviting you. And let's go ahead and get started. Short video. America. A nation rich in history and boundless optimism, from sea to shining sea. From the epic root of Lewis and Clark to the revolutionary spirit of our founding fathers, we are a nation of pioneers, ideas, and adventures. With American Cruise Lines, you can experience it all. Bask in the scenic beauty of the heartland. Savor the tradition of a New England lobster bake. Feel the warmth of true Southern hospitality. Step back in time aboard our modern river boats and explore what defined us as a nation. Cruise close to home with American Cruise Lines. Visit AmericanCruiseLines.com. I hope you enjoyed that. That was actually Charlie Daniel. That's one of our commercials that we um, hat we use to advertise on different TV channels. So uh, we do have some great itineraries, have over 35 itineraries taking you right here close to home. And um, like I said, beautiful places to explore. I've traveled a lot myself uh, being in the travel industry for so many years, but I always find there's so many places and states that I've never been to before. And we find that's often uh, common with a lot of our guests as well. So Overall, we have 35 beautiful itineraries across the United States. We do the entire Mississippi, uh, starting from the lower Mississippi in New Orleans up to Minneapolis on the upper Mississippi. We also do the tributaries, the Ohio from St. Louis to Pittsburgh and St. Louis Nashville on the Cumberland. Moving out to the Pacific Northwest, we do the beautiful Columbia and Snake Rivers. And um, then we have all these coastal product that we go down the coast here, the main coast, New England, um, the Hudson, Chesapeake Bay, our mid-Atlantic and our east coast inland passages, our historic south, the Golden Isles, that's gonna be out of Jacksonville, Florida, and our great rivers out of Jacksonville, Florida. Moving back out to the west, we have Puget Sound and San Juan Islands, and our three Alaska programs, ranging from seven to 14 days. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more in detail of all these beautiful itineraries here. We'll start with the New England itineraries and the New England itineraries, of course, operate during the summertime. These are on our coastal product and we have uh, our main coast product, which departs out of Portland, Maine round trip. We visit beautiful cities uh, like Camden and Belfast and up into Bar Harbor. Then we have our New England Isles itinerary. That's gonna be out of Providence, Providence round trip on a seven night. We have a longer version of that. It's called the Grand New England. That will take you out of Boston round trip. And you can see some of these great ports like Block Island, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket. These are places that people always would love to go to but are just not the easiest places to get to. And our little small ships can get right in there very easily for you. Also in the fall, we go and do the beautiful Hudson River out of New York City. So we visit 
Sleepy Hollow and West Point and the Catskills and Hyde Park on up to Albany. So round trip from New York City in the fall time, of course, when the leaves are, are really um, colored and, and very beautiful time of year to visit that area. In the winter time, we bring two of our small coastal ships down to Florida. They leave out of Jacksonville and one of them goes round trip Jacksonville called the Great Rivers of Florida. So we're visiting those cities like St. Augustine and Amelia Island and we'll take it on up to Charleston on our historic South and Golden Isles itinerary. And um, so that would be Jacksonville to Charleston or we'll go on up from Jacksonville all the way up to Baltimore on an East Coast Inland Outlet. We also sell the portion from Charleston to Baltimore on our Mid-Atlantic uh, Inland Passage. So we've got quite a few itineraries here, and that's where we keep two of our small coastal ships during the winter time. Now very popular for us, of course, is the Mississippi. The Mississippi is an amazing river. It's got so much history. There's so much to learn in this part of our country. And um, the river, the Mississippi River has a lot of names, of course, the Mighty Mississippi, the Muddy Mississippi. Um, they're all great. I'm actually from uh, the Mississippi. Um, I live uh, where I grew up was off of the Mississippi River. So there's a lot going on on the Mississippi, a lot of commerce. You're gonna see all of this and you're gonna learn all the history um, about the Mississippi River from our historians when you're on board. So most popular for us is the lower Mississippi. Uh, there you're looking at round trip New Orleans or New Orleans, Memphis. Those are seven night itineraries. And we visit beautiful stops, Oak Alley, um, like you're seeing this photo right here, right now is Oak Alley, one of the beautiful um, antebellum homes. Uh, we also have the Humas House, which is another beautiful home that we stop at, Baton Rouge and Natchez. We go to the Military National Park in Vicksburg. Um, so that's the Lower Mississippi, and we do the Lower Mississippi usually from the middle part of February until the um, end of the year, past over New Year's. Um, and then we do the Upper Mississippi in the summertime, and that is because that portion of the river tends to have higher water. So we do it in the summertime, we'll go from St. Louis to Minneapolis. And you can see the stops like in Hannibal, Missouri, and Davenport, Red Wing. Now you can also do the entire Mississippi if you want. We sell, you know, the 14 nights on the entire Mississippi, or we have a, um, that's called the Grand Heartland, or we have the complete Mississippi on a 21 night from New Orleans to Minneapolis. And that's a great one, of course. You're gonna see everything. Then we also do the tributaries from St. Louis to Pittsburgh. Um, as you can see the stops, Louisville, um, Cincinnati, wonderful places, lots of great stuff to see. And then we have the St. Louis Nashville on the Cumberland too. So great, great stops here on the Mississippi. Moving out to the Northwest, we have the Columbia Snake. Um, also extremely popular. This is an area a lot of uh, people in our country have not seen. The landscape is just stunning. You'll visit places like Multnomah Falls. You're gonna see Mount St. Helens, the Dolls. Um, just gorgeous area of our country. And this area, of course, is known for the Lewis and Clark journey. And you're gonna learn a lot about that on this itinerary. And we do sell this program as a seven night or a 10 night. So great area to cruise. And then I'm showing you also here our uh, Puget Sound and San Juan Islands. That's on one of our coastal programs and that leaves out of Seattle round trip. And that is a really adventurous type itinerary, nice stops. We have a naturalist on board. We're gonna do some well watching and some fun stuff on there, really beautiful area. And then Alaska. Uh, Alaska has got so much to see and such a huge state and just stunning scenery. We offer three choices in Alaska. Remember, we're an American company, so we do not leave the United States. We stay strictly in the United States. Uh, we do three itineraries. We'll do the round trip Seattle on our um, on one itinerary. Uh, our Alaskan Explorer will do a 10-night itinerary, and that goes from 
a Juno round trip, and then we do the Inside Passage on a 14 night that will take you from Juno to Seattle, the complete uh, Alaska there. So what you'll notice about our Alaska is that these are very small ports. A lot of these ports we can get into, the big ships just cannot. Uh, we use a coastal ship here that is 175 passengers. We have a naturalist on board, we have a historian on board. Uh, you're gonna learn all about this area, the region, the wildlife, everything. We're gonna uh, cruise one whole day right inside the glacier. Um, really great. Of course, uh, Alaska is never disappointing. So what do we, what ships do we use to do these wonderful itineraries? These are small intimate ships. And um, these first one I'm showing you here is the American Song. It was our first new modern river boat. Uh, if any of you have ever been on a river cruise ship in Europe, these look somewhat similar to those in Europe, but they are different. Um, the difference is they are about 100 feet shorter in length. They are wider, faster, quieter, extremely environmentally friendly, and they can go very remote, which I'll show you in a moment. They are 100% balconies, very spacious staterooms. They start at 250 square feet. That's a single cabin and they go up to 900 square feet. On average, they're about 325, so they're very, very spacious. Um, the American Song is out on the uh, Colombian Snake, and we have a second uh, new modern boat, which is called the American Harmony, which is on the Mississippi at this time. It will be relocated at the end of the year out to the Colombian Snake as well. We have our third new modern boat, the American Jazz, which is gonna arrive in August. And we'll have our fourth early part of next year, the American Melody. We do plan on building a fifth of these new modern boats. Um, that ship is not yet named. And by the way, these are 185 guests. Now, one of the great features here that you see on these new modern boats, they, they just glide along the water. They're very quiet. They're like a Porsche uh, for us to drive along the, the water. And they're extremely, um, they can go very remote, as you see from this photo here. So what happens is if we don't have an actual docking platform, we can still dock these ships. We just pull right into the embankment. We open the mouth of the ship and we, and we release the bow and our guests can embark and disembark this way. And this is something that our owners created. It is a bow ramp, uh, it's patent pending, but it's pretty neat. And I will tell you, I just did a cruise in early March and, um, what happened was the river was high in Natchez, so we could not dock where we normally do dock. So we had to dock on the other side of the bridge, and we just pulled into the embankment, and we actually tied up the ship to two trees in the water there. So it was kind of interesting and fun to see. So that's just a little bit of tip for you, what we can do with these new modern river boats. Now, when you think of river cruising in the US, you probably think of the authentic paddle wheelers and we do have four of them. They range in size from 100 guests to the largest at 185. We have two on the Colombian Snake and two on the Mississippi. And these uh, three of them we, we built and one we purchased and refurbished. And of course, these have a tremendous amount of history that you're gonna learn about on board. And they have a wonderful following to, to this day uh, they are decorated more nostalgic uh, with a Victorian accent. And we have five of these small coastal ships, uh, two that are 175 passengers and three that are only 90 passengers. And these little wonderful ships, they hug along the coastline and they allow us to go in these beautiful, small, intricate little ports that are always always something that we wish we can get to easier. And we can do that here on these small coastal ships. So what sets American Cruise Lines apart? As I said, we are the largest USA river cruise operator. We have a lot of experience taking our guests to the best destinations here in the US and showing them these uh, wonderful sites and, and history of these areas. On board our ships, our guests are gonna be um, have the largest staterooms, very comfortable large staterooms to relax and enjoy during their cruise uh, with private balconies. Our programs include complimentary featured excursions. 
We have on board the ship's elevator access to all the decks. We do a twice daily stateroom service and our programs do include gratuity and Wi-Fi. Uh, we also have locally sourced and in inspired cuisine. Wonderful food, I'll touch on that in a moment. And we also include complimentary cocktail party every evening, daily entertainment. On board, we step on board, it's an all American experience. Um, all of our crew, our, uh, our, crew, our ships are 100% American crewed, 100% American flagged, and 100% American built. So all American experience. And we do also have beer and wine at lunch and dinner. And I'll just, again, touch on all of these a little bit more. I wanted to show you here one of our spacious staterooms. You can see they're really nice and large, very roomy, lots of uh, closet and drawer space for you, totally uh, areas, you know, you're not going to be tripping over any furniture or anything, really nice large uh, staterooms. Also, we have quite a few single occupancy staterooms. On our new modern boats, we have 10 single occupancy staterooms. So if you are single, you travel by yourself, we have these wonderful staterooms uh, for you with single rates. We have single rates and we do get a lot of singles on board. On top, the decks, um, very nice, beautiful top decks, lots of areas for you to just relax and enjoy the ever-changing scenery. Always we have a putting green on every ship and other types of uh, games as well for our guests. And we are also offering dining on the top deck uh, through, the, through the week or two weeks of your sailing uh, as well. Private balconies with unobstructed views. Uh, we do offer room service throughout the day. So you can absolutely offer room service and enjoy it out on your beautiful balcony. We include a complimentary cocktail party every evening and it's more than a cocktail party. It's uh, a great time to socialize, listen to the wonderful entertainment. We also have, um, we have all types of liquor, top shelf liquor, you can have anything you wish. And we do the cocktail party before dinner and usually run the cocktail party through the end of the evening. So that means even after dinner, come into the lounge, enjoy the entertainment and uh, we'll continue with the cocktail party in the, in the drinks. Uh, I wanna mention as well that we do include beer and wine at lunch and dinner as well. If you by chance purchased a nice bottle of wine on the Colombian Snake, you can absolutely enjoy that on board. Uh, we also, maybe you purchased a bottle of bourbon or scotch or whiskey, you can enjoy that too. So um, you might keep that in mind as well. So no problems there. We have open seating dining. Um, our dining rooms are very spacious. You can see the tables are quite distant from each other. Uh, our dining works in that um, you come into the dining room, you sit wherever you like with whomever you like. Uh, we have plenty of space for all of our guests. Uh, you do not have to be in the dining room right when it opens during the open seating dining period. Uh, we have now, as well as the dining room, we also have on some of the ships, we have a second dining area, a cafe on the top deck. And we're also doing some dining outside on the top deck, as well as our room service. So we're giving our guests several choices for dining. We have regionally sourced and inspired cuisine. Each day we bring on fresh meats, fish, fruits, vegetables. You're always being served the freshest foods. Um, our food is really excellent. The portions are very large. You may decide after day one, these are too big of portions. You want half portions, absolutely fine. Um, this is of course, beautiful lobster. On our main coast in our New England itineraries, we always make those lobster bake themed cruises. But regardless if it's lobster bake or not, you're gonna get it lobster at least once uh, during the week. So you can look forward to that. Also, we have world-class entertainment on board nightly. We really shine in this area. If you like local entertainment, jazz, blues, country, all different types of music, uh, we have dancers, performers, musicians, comedians. Uh, my particular cruise I was just on was actually a music theme cruise. So we had like a phenomenal entertainment on there every evening and just would blow your socks off. It was really, really excellent. And we also, in addition to that, we had a a musician that sailed the entire week with us. And his job was um, to entertain the passengers with music and history of music and genres and uh, banjo lessons and all of this kind of thing. So it added to the music theme of that week. 
We also have award-winning enrichment programs. This is one of our historians, Todd Weber. You can see he's dressed in character. And he will, of course, tell you all about Lewis and Clark while you're on that um, Columbia and Snake itinerary. So this is all part of the enrichment and very rewarding experience that you're going to get because we're not just selling, we're not selling the ships, we're selling the experience because what you come back with is so enriching the history that you learn. It's very, very fulfilling and very rewarding to learn. And they bring this all to life for our guests on board, these wonderful historians that we have. So really glad to have them traveling with us. We do some wonderful excursions on our River Cruise product. We include always an included featured excursion every day. And these are hosted by local guides. Um, on the coastal product, we do include some featured uh, excursions, but not every day. And some of those would be considered premium and, and those would be 20 to $70 extra uh, for those. Um, but we are very excited because this year we added over 50 new shore excursions. And these are just a few of them that I wanted to show you because we have, of course, a lot of historical type uh, excursions, but we also have a lot of active things. So you can see now we're doing kayaking in our historic South and Golden Isles. We've got segways we use on the upper Mississippi. Uh, we've got hiking out in Puget Sound and San Juan Islands. And we've got raft excursions in Alaska, and we've got schooner sailing in the main coast. Some really fun, active things. And there's plenty for you to do, or if you don't want to do a lot, you can do whatever you want. You can do our featured tour or not do it, or you can do one of these extra tours, whatever you like. It's there for you, and it's all part of the experience to see our beautiful country. When we're out on these tours, we have these wonderful motor coaches that have our logo on them and they're brand new and they allow our guests um, to enjoy these private coaches on their guided shore excursions and you'll see them all around town and on the Mississippi just recently I think we had 21 motor coaches so kind of look like uh, American Cruise Line amps everywhere you can see these motor coaches driving all over the city and they do follow the um, the cruise the entire time so they're with us at all times they're taking our guests they're very very nice so i didn't want to end unless i i wanted to tell you some of the things that we are doing in order to prepare our guests for their upcoming cruise and what we've done on board to make it um, as safe as possible for our guests and confident in cruising with us know that we do have an independent uh, HVAC system in every stateroom. Each room has its own individual air conditioning, and that has always been the case. We also have UVC water filtration system. We do now a touchless boarding and check-in process that includes a medical screening. We do sanitation rounds conducted hourly. We have personal protective equipment for our guests and crew, hand sanitizing stations. Um, our no public bathrooms, our guests will be asked to use their stateroom bathrooms. Um, also, luggage sanitation, cocktails, and hors d'oeuvres will be kept behind bearers and passed to our guests individually, so we do not have any buffets. Uh, disposable covers on TV remotes, sanitation of touch points in staterooms. Also, we've reduced the capacity in our dining room, um, so I mentioned earlier about the different options that we have for dining. We've also reduced the capacity on board the ships to 75%, so we are not selling them full. And keep in mind, these are smaller ships to begin with, um, so we do have lots of area for our guests. Also new for us is medical professionals on board. Uh, we now have a resident nurse or an EMT on each ship. Our ships will carry the COVID-19 quick tests. We also have an outbreak management plan um, ready to go. Our crew is trained for COVID-19 symptoms for their guests and themselves. And we have reduced in coach and excursion capacities to allow for physical distancing. Now, this is not everything we've done, but just a, a little bit of what we've done, what we have done and in order to prepare for our guests to come back and sail with us. Uh, more information, you can get more information uh, from Michael. If you have any questions on um, how we are prepared for our guests to come sail with us again. 
So I want to end it on, on that note and thank you very, very, very much for your attention. I hope you've learned a few new things here with my presentation today. And I know that Michael is uh, very, very happy to help you plan your next American Cruise Line vacation. We have those wonderful 35 different itineraries to choose from. And if you do book within two weeks, uh, we do have a show special we'll offer to you for $600 off per cabin. And that is um, not combinable with any other offers. So if that's the best offer, then Michael can certainly extend that to you. Or maybe we have a promotion in the market that might be better. But either way, um, we'd love to have you join us on your next, uh, next vacation. So thank you very much. Cindy, thank you very much. That was a very good presentation. Um, I do love the fact that the, when she says all American, she means it. Um, when we encountered the staff, I mean, everybody is, um, they have the same outlook we do. They're, they're it's a very interesting mix. Um, and it's, it's not like any other cruise I've been on. And I mean that in a good way. Um, the food, we were, we didn't know what we were going to expect with the food. The food is delicious and it's regional and it's based on uh, where you are in the U.S., during your cruise and that made a big difference. It, you, you feel part of the environment like that. I took a couple pictures just of some common areas. It's very spacious. You almost feel like you're in a, in a boutique hotel, I would say. Um, it's beautifully decorated. This was the American Harmony. This was a common area. Um, I'm gonna show you Bill Wymouth in a minute. He was our, um, him, him and his wife, Laura, Laura is the, she did most of the music on board, but he is a historian. And I mean, I'm hooked on Bill already. Like I subscribe to his podcast and everything. I've never met anybody so knowledgeable yeah. um, with such a great um, outlook on American history. And he brings it to life. And I'm going to tell you, it was normally at four or five o'clock on board and whatever anybody was doing, wherever they were, if Bill's history lesson was going to be a five, you can believe everybody was there for that. I mean, it was one of the best parts of the cruise. Uh, that's Bill right there. Uh, and, and he's talking about the places that you're going to go to next, which is um, then when you visit them, you're, you, you feel like, hey, now I realize what Bill is talking about. I mean, obviously I'm from the con this country and I've been all around. I've been to some of these cities, but not a lot of these little towns. Um, and I didn't know everything about them uh, like it is to, to do it from a cruising perspective and with, with an expert on board uh, like Bill and Laura. This articulating gangway where the nose lifts up is amazing. I mean, you can see there's no, there's no dock here of any kind. She just, the captain just moors right up to land and then they tie off to a tree or whatever there, there is on land. And then this articulating dock comes out and swings around. They can even get a golf cart on there. And so one thing about this cruise is the most ADA friendly cruise I've ever been on. The elevator goes to every deck. There's wide halls, there's smooth surfaces. Um, they have means to help people once they get off the ship to, to get to the places. And of course, in the United States, everything has to be ADA compliant. There's a few things like, um, I think, Hummus House, um, you, there's, I mean, of course it was built in the 1700s and so there's not an elevator. So the best they can do there for people that are mobility challenged is they have a room downstairs um, after you've toured the downstairs and the grounds where they show a video of what you would see if you were upstairs. So the, there's a couple exceptions just from, from historical purposes, but that's uh, Oak Alley, a beautiful, beautiful place. It was kind of misty that morning. You got to get the praline liqueur. I don't know if you've ever tried this. I, I had not until so I was in wow. Louisiana. That's good. It is good. I fortunately they have this at our local Total Wine. <laughs> Ran out. I bought some more, um, but it made the trip better. And you see, <laughs> so much of the Mississippi you see is uh, industrial, and um, it's it, it, as you're near New Orleans, kind of, and New Orleans and Baton Rouge, because there is those. The river there is is cut so that ocean going vessels can come up there and get loads from uh, river going vessels and it's amazing to watch 
once you get past Baton Rouge, it you see in the countryside. I mean, it's just so, so beautiful out there. This was Hummus House. They were decorated for Christmas. Of course, we were there in December. And those giant uh, ornaments were really fun. Uh -huh. Had a good time. Uh, this was our guide. I remember. Well, I can't remember her name right now, but she said, come on, come on. Every time it was time to go to the next room. She was great. <laughs> I took this picture because this is the Hummus House, and that's the little historical sign I'm pointing out with one hand, and the ship on the other hand. There's not a dock there, but they pull right up anyway, and they, they have golf carts to help people over if you can't walk up the, um, the, uh, the dike there. And um, it's amazing to me that this is how close you are. You're not riding motor coaches for hours and hours. You are at the places that you want to be. And the places that were in the included in excursions were excellent excursions. And the ones that weren't were like $30 or $40. They were very reasonably priced and well worth the uh, upgrade. Again, I, I really like that articulating gangway. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a geek about that kind of stuff. Really inventive. Um, this is the, um, the old state capital in Baton Rouge, I believe. Uh, this building is um, very historic significance and beautiful on the inside. It's very interesting. Wow, decorated. that's pretty. Uh, here in Baton Rouge, you did have a dock, so we could, you know, it was... Um, we got off really early in the morning. We walked up and down. And so this destroyer, I can't think of the name of it right this second off the top of my head. But normally, if you're just a guest walking up off the street, it's like 10 bucks or something to go in, but it was included. You just had to show your American Cruise Lines pa um, boarding pass kind of that you, you, you keep with you, your key card, essentially. And it was like that a lot of the time. So you could go on uh, escorted excursions or you could go do your own thing and though a lot of those things were included and it's very thoughtful and well planned out they talk about these um the tow boats out there and the and the um, the toes which is the 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 big part out there and it's amazing you would not believe how much cargo goes up and down the mississippi river it's nice. amazing uh, great food uh you got to get Zappo, Zapp's potato chips whenever <laughs> you're in New Orleans. Uh, great museums. Again, the museums were included. Um, it's, again, beautiful in the, on this river. Yeah. Uh, we were welcome to go on the um, bridge. The, the, um, this was uh, the first officer on board, also a captain. There's two captains on board that change shifts. Um, he has the little joystick controllers and um, amazing GPS technology and uh, operates that um, gangplank. Very, very cool. Very nice. Again, such an accommodating staff. Uh, everybody remembers your name. They know what you like. Um, this was a little further down. No, not Chess. This is not Chess, Mississippi. And then, then this was Vicksburg. Uh, and so it includes entrance into Vicksburg National Park, um, which is um, of great significance for the, with the Civil War. Um, this was the USS Cairo, which was an ironclad boat, which was um, pretty, pretty advanced technology at the time. Yeah. It was torpedoed and sunk in 1862, um, but going to this memorial uh, is really very interesting. I learned about the Sultana. I never knew about the steamer. Um, it was one of the, it is the greatest maritime disaster in U.S. history, and you never hear about it. Mm -hmm. um, but we did. It was mostly um, 2,300 Union soldiers on their way back home. Mm -hmm. um, and sad story, but interesting yeah. part of history. And I would have never known this if I hadn't taken this cruise. That was a Sultana. Uh, you know that. what this building is, right? Nabisco, Nabisco, Biscuit Company, National Biscuit Company. Um, we found a little rooftop bar in town. and got some pretzels and uh, <laughs> uh, Reuben, some, ice, some local beer. Vicksburg was really a neat town. That was me back in the uh, back in our cabin on board. Um, as you can see, it's 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 not a typical river cruise ship. I mean. 
this isn't a suite. It's a standard balcony, and there's a lot of room on the balcony. It has glass um, balcony walls, so you can always see through everywhere. And I think the, the room size is more like a hotel room almost than, uh, than, than a cruise ship. Another beautiful scene through there as we go. Love Bill. Uh, and then when you get back to New Orleans, this is round trip New Orleans. That is uh, you got to go to the National World War II Museum. We got uh, to get you. This place is amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's the best World War II Museum I've been to, and there's a, a, a video, like a 3D video, 4D video with Tom Hanks. It's very moving, very amazing. Highly recommend it. From the main coast to the Pacific Northwest, our ships traveled the most scenic and historic inland waterways in the United States. Every autumn, the landscape along the Hudson River glows with the vibrant colors of fall. American Cruise Lines celebrates this spectacular season on its seven-night round-trip fall foliage cruise from New York City, stopping at West Point, Catskill, Albany, Kingston, Poughkeepsie, Sleepy Hollow, and then back to New York City. As Manhattan's dazzling skyline gives way to the majestic palisades and timeless mountains of the Catskills, the Hudson River scenery will awe you. Explore the many ports, touring charming museums and quaint river towns along the way. As American Cruise Line sails the Hudson River Valley, you will be treated to an onboard atmosphere that is second to none. Unique entertainment, gracious hospitality, and fine dining will all be yours. Our fleet of new small ships feature open sun decks, oversized staterooms, and spacious lounges designed to give you all the room you need to spread out and feel at home. Step back into a bygone era as American Cruise Lines takes you to the Grand Castle at Lyndhurst, Vanderbilt Mansion, visit Sunnyside, the home of Washington Irving, and nearby Sleepy Hollow, the village that inspired his legendary tale. Tour the home and library of Franklin Roosevelt in sprawling Hyde Park and marvel at Olana, the estate of Frederick Church, where the views of the Hudson River have inspired great painters for centuries. Quiet villages lay nestled in the mountains at the river's edge. American Cruise Lines takes you to these places untouched by time. Wander the town of Kingston, where the culture and architecture of the original Dutch settlers remain preserved. Take in the unparalleled vistas of the calm Hudson River while you stroll the peaceful village of Catskill. Delight in the magnificence of New York's palatial state capital in Albany, where costumed experts offer guided tours. The unique shopping available in each of these ports is certain to delight any traveler. American Cruise Lines will take you to the magnificent grounds of West Point's famous academy, where the traditions of military service and patriotism have remained unbroken for more than 200 years. Enjoy the spectacular view of Manhattan's skyline from your private balcony as you cruise past this iconic island. From the majesty of New York's great cities to the untouched mountains that line the Hudson River Valley, this cruise will delight you with a true American experience. This is American Cruise Line's Hudson River Fall Foliage Cruise. With more than 20 unique itineraries from Maine to Florida and the Columbia to the Mississippi Rivers, American Cruise Lines has the perfect vacation for you. Discover America's best kept secret. Discover American Cruise Lines. New England's quaint ports, majestic coastlines, and exquisite seafood invite relaxation and adventure. It is here that you will discover what has captivated travelers for over a century. Let American Cruise Lines be your guide while we visit quaint port towns such as Nantucket, Newport, and Martha's Vineyard. 
This seven-night round-trip New England cruise is the easiest way to see all the most beautiful landscapes and destinations in New England. As we island hop, the beautifully appointed ship and attentive crew ensure that your voyage will be extraordinary. On board the ship, you will dine on some of the world's tastiest lobster and other locally inspired seafood dishes prepared by internationally trained chefs. As we approach the tranquil shores of Nantucket, the captain will set anchor in the calm sound for a breathtaking view of the sunset. During our private tour, our engaging guide will share stories of the island's early history, the popular rose cottages, and intriguing art community. In the afternoon, our onboard guest lecturer will enhance your visit by leading you on a guided walking tour to explore Brant Point Lighthouse. Our ship quietly docks in port as you sleep comfortably in your stateroom. One morning, you might wake to a view of Vineyard Haven from your private balcony. A local island guide will greet us in the harbor and take us on a personalized tour of Martha's Vineyard, where you'll be taken back by the charm of quaint gingerbread cottages. You will enjoy ample free time to explore the local shops and village in Edgartown. In the evening, musical guest Mark Allen Lovewell will entertain everyone on board with popular sea chanty sing-along songs. As we approach Block Island, you'll get a stunning view of the colorful sailboats, which speckle its harbor. It will come as no surprise why this area serves as inspiration for many artists. Alongside your private guide, we will visit all the main attractions of the island, while also showing you its treasured nooks, of which only the most experienced locals are aware. As your tour winds along the scenic bluffs on the way to Old Harbor, you will make a stop at the famous Southeast Lighthouse, before having time to peruse the quaint boutiques of the harbor. In Newport, the intimate size of our vessel allows us to dock right at the famous Fort Adams and puts us just a short ride away from its bustling riverfront. Wander through the many charming shops along the harbor. Visit the opulent mansions of Newport, including the legendary Breakers, or just sit back and watch the town glow in the evening sun from your private balcony. Throughout the entirety of the cruise, you will be given a panoramic view of the natural world that is unique to New England. Make your way to the top deck for a view of the Hairsoft Marine Museum as the boat pulls into the port of Bristol, Rhode Island. Our guide will greet you at the ship and walk with you across the street to the museum, which features the finest yachts built during the golden age of yachting. In the afternoon, you'll take a trolley to the Blythewald Mansion for a private tour of the mansion and grounds. With magnificent views of the Narragansett Bay, the 33-acre summer estate also features a collection of exquisite gardens. Finally, you'll have plenty of free time for an afternoon of exploration. You can take a brief stroll or our shuttle into Bristol to visit the many local shops and stores. On select cruises, we will treat you to a classic New England lobster bake. The unique feasts have quickly become a guest highlight and feature New England lobster, steamers, and mussels, all cooked over an open fire. Make sure you ask your cruise specialist for details. Over the years, this area has been witness to far more than just vacation goers. An important part of America's cultural and natural history, the New England Islands are home to fascinating museums, forts, and some of the world's best seafood. Let American Cruise Lines be your guide on this relaxing and fascinating cruise. For more information, contact your cruise professional or call a cruise specialist today.
Cruising the Columbia aboard Queen of the West, passengers will discover a magical blending of scenery, history, and wildlife. Bordered by scorched deserts, beautiful snow-capped mountains, and thundering waterfalls, the Columbia and Snake Rivers are the lifeblood of the Pacific Northwest and some of the most historically important rivers in the world. Our journey begins in Portland, Oregon, Situated between the sparkling waters of the Columbia and Willamette Rivers, Portland has flourished throughout history with the fortunes of these great waterways. In the golden age of riverboats, stern wheelers crossed Portland's busy waterfront while steam whistles and calliopes rang out. Today, big city excitement combined with small town charm make Portland a fascinating destination. Queen of the West is an elegant riverboat that has a unique blend of historic accents and modern amenities, including a giant paddle wheel standing three stories tall. The well-designed ship has lounges that offer panoramic views or quiet sanctuary, and a picturesque sun deck where you can always get some fresh river air. Traveling downriver, we arrive at the coast a historic region at the western end of the Lewis and Clark Trail. In the winter of 1805, the Corps of Discovery Expedition was headquartered at Fort Clatsop. A replica of the fort was built near the original site and is now a national monument. Enjoy a comprehensive overview of the Corps' expedition at Fort Clatsop. Explore the town of Astoria, the oldest American settlement west of the Rockies, and today showcases more than 70 Victorian-era homes. Let American cruise lines illuminate the life and times of America's Pacific Northwest explorers. Join our knowledgeable river Lorians, like Todd Weber, along the banks of the river as he recreates the great journey of Lewis and Clark. He will share with you his appreciation for the stamina, ingenuity, and character that existed in those who helped shape the history of the American West. His period clothing and colorful collection add to his presentations, making them visual and memorable. Continuing our voyage, we'll cruise through Volcano Alley on the Columbia River. Join us for a tour of Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument. At the nearby observatory and interpretive center, look right into the volcanic crater with its steaming dome and witness the destructive power of its eruption in 1980. Next, we spend a day cruising through the Columbia River Gorge. Witness this spectacular river canyon, cutting the only navigable route through the Cascade Mountain Range. A popular recreational destination, the gorge is a national scenic area and is managed by the United States Forest Service. The cliffs of the awe-inspiring gorge look down on quaint riverfront towns. Through millennia of geologic events, waterfalls now tumble into the gorge. Among them is Multnomah Falls, the second highest waterfall in the U.S. Here you will have a rare chance to feel the spray of the idyllic cascade. In the heart of the Columbia Gorge National Scenic Area, the ship will move through the Bonneville Lock and Dam to reach the Port of Stevenson. At the Bonneville Dam Visitor Center, learn about the workings of the massive turbine generators behind this imposing hydroelectric power source. After Stevenson, we cruise through the Columbia River Gorge's beautiful wine country. Enjoy wine tasting aboard the ship, led by acclaimed experts. Discover the finest wines that Washington has to offer at Mary Hill Winery, winner of the 2014 San Francisco International Winery of the Year Award. Nestled among rows of vines on a bluff overlooking the Columbia River, the winery combines amazing wine tasting with breathtaking views. With over 40 top quality wines, Mary Hill offers something for every palate. Our next port of call is also located in the Columbia River Gorge. The Dalles is a perfect photographic spot. Discover the area where Lewis and Clark stopped at Rock Fort Camp during their historic journey to explore the Louisiana Purchase in 1806. Next, journey to Pendleton for a taste of the real West. 
Watch Working Cowboys at the world-famous Pendleton Roundup and learn about the pioneers from the perspective of the Native Americans at the Tomas Lake Cultural Institute. Our expedition comes to an end in the twin cities of Lewiston, Idaho and Clarkston, Washington. Two cities known as the Northwest's most inland seaports. Here along the Snake River, you'll find Hell's Canyon, the deepest canyon in North America. This canyon is known for its breathtaking scenery and magnificent wildlife. We recommend a jet boat ride for an exhilarating tour deep into the heart of the canyon. Columbia River cruises with American Cruise Lines provide a voyage of discovery along a river system rich in history, culture, and scenic grandeur.